Hello everybody, this is Steve with C64 Brain. I'd like to welcome you to the new membership area. And what I'm gonna be doing on this uh, video is I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step the new changes that have been implemented into the dashboard and how to go ahead and navigate through those sections. Okay, when you first go to the website c64brain.com, if you're not a new registered user, you'll wanna click here on registered user. And then what this will do is it's gonna take you to a page where you can go ahead and sign up for the membership. Once you have your membership access, which you'll receive through an email, you'll receive a username and a password, and then you're going to use that on the right left-hand side here where you can actually go ahead and sign in. Okay, so we are now at the new dashboard here. You'll notice um, for those who are returning back to the site, previous visitors, that I have actually implemented and changed the dashboard. The previous one was a lot of buttons and probably a little bit more confusing, but I feel like this interface is a little bit more straightforward. You'll see here, um, in addition, this is where you would do your main navigation, but down below here, as I scroll, you'll see that I have a, also an inner set of menus that you can use to access the internal parts of the membership, which we're gonna go over step-by-step step here. And of course, scrolling further down the page here, it's kind of um, some of the same things. I left some of the same links in here and they may be changed from time to time just to let you know how to get to different areas. I've also added the new Discord area here so you can join my Discord for free. And if you haven't done my Facebook already, I definitely encourage you to join there. A lot of things going on there and I always have new updates with you know projects and stuff like that so you always know what's going on. And then down here we have the regular blogs, anything that's new going on. And further down, some more information, and then you can go ahead and submit any questions you have down here at the bottom. So we'll scroll back up here. And this is the main dashboard where we are right now, so we don't need to click on that. But we're going to click here on where it says free ebook download, which once again is accessible here at the top of the screen, too. So once we got that loaded, what you'll now see. If you haven't already understood this before, when you first sign up as a registered user, I do offer you a free ebook. So this is where you can go ahead and access it very easily. Now to get back and forth to the pages, all you have to do is use these menus now. You don't have to sit there and go through these side menus like it used to be. So it's a little bit more straightforward. So you can just hit, click here on the main dashboard and it'll take you right back. Now from here, you got other menus you can still go through. Um, we went through the ebook download. We can now go through the D64 images download, or you can get it at the top again, up here in the corner. Now here is the new library I've included. These are some of my old programs that from time to time I've been giving away as freebies, but I've got a lot that I can really offer. So over time I may you know, kind of change them out, but this is just a, a small selection that you can go ahead and view and download the programs from here. And then we'll go back to the main dashboard. And we'll scroll down again. The next section we're going to go over is the game design for C64, which is also accessible up here, left hand side. On your mobile, you may even see the little mobile menu way up here on your phone. Okay, so this is a more comprehensive. Um, section what it does is it basically takes a game project that i was working on and it breaks it all down in complicated length i mean you just go down here you'll see lines and lines of code and stuff like that so if you're really really interested in getting into the deep internals of a, a semi-language game design including being able to set up like a screen that scrolls this is definitely the place for you and later we'll break it down and make it a little bit more simplified but this is what we have for right now now each of these sections will take you to the different parts of that programming project. So you can just click on them now instead of having to click on the side menus like you used to before. So this takes you to another section called the levels page. This is the collision routines page. And you'll see there's more code and stuff down here. So that's all been left the same. General routines. And you'll see the different routines, timers, and all that kind of stuff here. And then we got player setup. This would be like the sprite information down below here. And then we got the screen routines. And that's basically the drawing of the screen and everything. And swapping screens back and forth, which is known as a back buffer. Then we have the raster routines. And those are the kind of changes that take place in the background. You might see like characters moving while your sprite is moving, basically prevents, you know, communication between both of them. And then there's no 
disconnection between them. It basically allows things to run in the background as it's known. Okay, and then we have the scrolling routines. This allows you to scroll the screen, of course. And this one is a very long one, so I won't go through this, but you can definitely take a look at that. And then we have finally the sprite setup. And the player setup um, is for the actual main player, but the sprite setup kind of gets into the initialization of first setting the sprite when he first gets on the screen and you first make him appear and stuff like that. Okay, so now we'll go back to our main dashboard. We'll scroll down again. And the next thing we're going to do is click on Commodore 64 Magazine, which is also accessible up here. This is the same from before. These are the Ohio, Ohio, excuse me, magazine. And these are all accessible here where you can go ahead and download them, the files and stuff like that. I have kind of a, a small selection here, but you can go ahead and take a look at that. Just kind of a freebie that I've had on there for a good while. We'll go back to the main dashboard. As we go down here, you'll see we have the user profile. Click on that which is accessible up here. Initially, the user profile is where you can go ahead and set up your own profile, something similar to Facebook. You'll see I have my own set up here, my own test account. And we could probably go through all these, but basically you could set up your own little blogs and stuff like that. But we won't go into all that unless you're really interested. You can definitely take a look at it. Then we have the recent activity. Oh, and actually we'll go back to the main dashboard. You see how quickly I went through that. But if you go back, you're always going to go back to the main dashboard to kind of keep it consistent. We'll go into recent activity this time. And this is actually where communication goes on between people inside of the community and stuff like that. Me answering their questions and resolving problems for them. And then we have the members, which again, we'll go back to the main dashboard. But it, like I said, you can always access these at any time. And these are all the users that have actually signed up so far with the community, which is a pretty big list there. So I won't scroll down all the way to show you all those, but you can technically check them out. And you can click on each user's profile and get more information about them, even send messages back and forth. And then we have scrolling down here, the membership confirmation page. And this is initially just showing that you had set up an account with uh, C64 Brain and that it was successful. So you always know if your account gets canceled or over here, you may get a different screen. Back to the main dashboard. And we'll go down to the video zone. Initially, this is an older page I had too, which basically probably can update it, but these are just some of the videos on YouTube I threw. And this was actually implemented while I was actually building the membership site, and I didn't really have a lot of content to give people, so I kind of threw that in there. We'll go back to the main dashboard. The next section you'll see here is the audio station. So we'll click on that. And again, this one is very similar to the video zone, except this one has audio files that you can actually listen to that people have actually put in here for games and stuff like that. And some even have their own mixes. So it's, it's actually pretty cool. And I did that while we were building the original membership and needing to get content out for people. And we'll go back to the main dashboard. Now, thanks to a wonderful contributor recently here, he actually, when we were reviewing the membership, he mentioned that we probably need a help guide that people can go to so that they understand just in case, you know, what do I do when I'm here? How do I get around? What do all these menus mean? Even though the video is helpful, if you're not going to watch the video, you can just click on help guide here. And what I do is I kind of break down each section as we've been going over them. And down here at the bottom, once again, you always have a form where you can go ahead and submit any questions you may have to the administrator, which would be me, C64 Brain. And then we'll go back to the main dashboard. And that would complete the list next to log out here. So we'll go ahead and click on log out to kind of end the session here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little simple tutorial and feel free to go ahead and leave me any questions in the comments below. And I'd like to be able to answer your questions. So if you want to sign up with my Facebook, best page place to really get a hold of me and really, I'm really active in there. And I also have a Discord community, as I mentioned. You could check that out, too. 
So thanks for being here, guys, and I appreciate you guys being a part of the C64 Brain community. You guys have a wonderful day.